Hey, Dave, I uh, left that backfield game early. Cody didn't take any at-bats, right? No, he didn't. Just played three innings of defense. When do you think he'll start facing some pitching? Um, you know, I, I don't know his progression right offhand, but I know that uh, he's going to play some more defense. He's taking uh, swings uh, on the field from pitchers or from coaches. Um, I would say uh, in the middle of the month, I think right around that 15th day, he'll be in a game. I, I was curious, as far as Dustin May and Tony go, uh, you said that they obviously, and they've proven that they belong at this level, but are, are, there, are there discussions internally about what would benefit them and you for coverage as far as just lengthening them and not just putting them in the bullpen? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we talk about that all the time. And I think the, I think the main thing is continuing to uh, work on their development. And so with that, the uh, buildup of three, four, five innings and continue to work build up and to see where we're at when we break camp uh, is the most important thing and trying to figure out how they how that fits on our big league ball club. Would would it be maybe a hindrance to them to be in the bullpen, Dave, to not even if they get stretched out in spring? Um, well, I, I just think that, you know, with the guys in the bullpen having length guys, certainly uh, to start a season, um, you know, regardless of what starters that ultimately land in the bullpen, I'm still going to be counting on them for uh, length. And this is you know, three, four innings, something like that. So to keep those guys built up uh, for something potentially unforeseen. Does Coors Field playing your first four games that Coors Field enter into that decision too? Yeah, that, that's part of it. And, um, you know, you just don't know where other guys or where all the guys are going to be built up as far as six innings or pitches or any way you want to look at it. So uh, four inning, four games there coming out of camp to have extra arm that can give you length uh, certainly uh, is important. Thank you, Dave. Yep. Next question from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. With Grado and Joe Cuddy, is, is time kind of ticking on them, or do you, think, do you still think they have enough time to kind of get ready for opening day? For who? Bruce Dar and Joe. Yeah, um, so Bruce Dar is ahead of Joe right now. Uh, it, it makes it a lot easier that you know to to see him early on in the season as one inning guys. Um, I think that uh, Bruce Dar is in a, in a pretty good spot, although he started a little bit later. The ramp up, you know, Joe Joe's a ways away though. How many times would you like to see them get into bullpens or live BPs or in a game for you to kind of feel comfortable with them? Yeah, I, I think that, you know, every everyone's different, but uh, to be in a handful of games, you know, is, is probably the floor. And then just kind of what Dave was asking you, how much is the fact that there's no triple A season for the first month of the, of the, of the season kind of affect those decisions, whether to, you know, put some guys in the bullpen or send them back down? How much is what one? Not having the, the first month of the, of the AAA season um, and having the alternate sites. How does that affect your decision making? Um, you know, I, I, I think that uh, in some senses it does uh, as far as the depth, but the initial, you know, 26 to 28 guys that, you know, have an opportunity to make our club, that really shouldn't affect it. But and but it is on each organization to make sure that those uh, guys that don't make the big league club are you know staying sharp both on the position side and, and the pitcher side. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Next question is from Nick. Go ahead, Nick. It's okay. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. Um, um, I'm Nicola. Uh, for the free agent, uh, French Repsi. Uh, my question is, um, you start the season with the champion level. Uh, no team has ever won back-to-back -back World Series since the Yankees. Uh, do you feel any pressure about that? No, no. I, I think that, you know, there's probably more pressure, uh, you know, in the years leading up to it. But right now, um, I think that we, we feel really good about our ball club. Um, the only thing we're concerned about is 21. 
um, and how we prepare. But, uh, you know, people have always, you know, targeted the Dodgers. And so I don't think that changes anything at all. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Ron. Yeah, Dave. Uh, uh, Justin Turner's made several outstanding defensive plays uh, over the last couple of games. Uh, is the plan during the regular season uh, going to be similar to what he's doing in uh, spring training where he gets a day off every, uh, every two or three games? Um, I wouldn't say that, um, but, but, and honestly, a lot of it is contingent on how Justin's feeling, but knowing the long season, the grind of the season, and you also have somebody, uh, you know, right next to him and Ed and Edwin Rios that I really want to keep him uh, involved in getting at bats regularly. So, um, I, I think it's a great situation. We keep Justin fresh. But I, right now, Ron, I just don't know exactly how that's going to look. But yeah, right now.